guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel I'm sorry I've been MIA yet again for like the last two weeks I know I promised that I was gonna be done my decluttering series two weekends ago but I didn't quite get around to it and it was just because of timing and who was home and my inability to be able to film I had two days where I didn't go to work last week because of snow days and I didn't get around to filming because everyone was home and this last week was a little bit of a crazy week at work so I was just so mentally exhausted every evening after work and I just didn't have the energy to do it. I also didn't have the energy to do it today but you know what, things gotta get done. Um, so if I do seem a little bit lower energy than normal and I know I've been quite low energy in my last few videos, I'm really trying to pick it up. Um, just please bear with me. I really just wanted to get this video out for you guys um, because I think I only have really my lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes left to declutter um, and I have a whole whack load of lipsticks to declutter today so um, hopefully we do well. I don't feel in the mood to do a declutter only because it just takes so much energy to think about what I want to keep, what I want to throw out. but. I was thinking that maybe if I do this, it'll kickstart um, my mood and maybe I'll just feel a little bit more motivated to do things. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to watch my lipstick declutter, then continue watching and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so what you're looking at here is my entire um, lip product collection. Um, also I threw in some samples that I pulled out of. Uh, my samples drawer just because I don't ever use lip product samples so I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of those and I thought I would include um, them with this video there are, probably are a few products missing one that I can recall that is missing is my Pat McGrath um, lip gloss and I think it's in the shade Earth Angel for months now I have no idea where it's been I'm hoping it's around somewhere because I love that gloss um, so if I find it, great. If not, oh well. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to go category by category. I think I might because it works kind of easier that way. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start off with, um, lip balms, lip glosses, and some of my lip samples. Um, so for lip samples, I have this one by MAC that's got kind of you know a bunch of different lip colors I'm not gonna use any of those so that's gonna go uh, the buxom plump up the volume I haven't even like opened this to see what color it is but oh there's three um, but those are gonna go as well because I won't find myself ever using these I just I don't know I don't like the idea of popping these um, what are they like this pill um, oh my god what are they called Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. I just don't want to pop one of these open and it make a mess. I know they're usually separated, but mm, I don't really like using lip brushes and yeah, not my thing. So I have an Urban Decay one. This is the Revolution High Color Lip Gloss. I don't even know if they make this or carry this anymore, but I would never use the purple and I'm not going to open it for the pink, so that can go. Um, I've got this Makeup Forever one, it's got, again, a pink, kind of, um, I don't know, is this a, it's the acrylic, so I don't know if that means it's like a, like a glossy lip or a matte, but I wouldn't use any of these colors, that's gonna go, I mean, I don't even know why I'm explaining anything about these, because I already said I was gonna let go all of these, um, this is the Dior Addict Stellar Shine Vibrant Color, it's a hydrating lip shine. Again, don't like dark, shiny lip color. Sorry, that's reflecting a lot. Um, yeah, so those are all gonna go. I'll put that Dior one underneath so you don't get the glare. Okay, I've got this Vaseline Lip Therapy. I'm gonna keep this. It's got kind of a rosy tint to it. Hang on, let's just see if I can open it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a rosy tint to it. It's really nice. Um, this was a recent purchase, so recent before my no buy I should clarify I have not been buying any makeup since uh the first of January so um I mean this isn't really makeup but you know what I mean so 
this one's gonna stay because I think this will be nice um, to just throw in as a lip tint um, or a tinted balm in the springtime. So I'll keep that one. Um, I guess going with balms and stuff. I've got this Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask. I've had this one for a while, but I do really like this. So I'm gonna continue using that one. I haven't really made a huge dent in it. I mean, there is still a lot of product in there. Uh, there's quite a dip, but yeah, I'll hold on to that. I should put this probably by my nightstand um, so that I can use it more. But my thing is, this is what I keep on my nightstand, the Blistex Lip Medics. This stuff is amazing. Um, I've also got, so I've got two of these little guys and I don't know where my other one went somewhere. I've got it in this tube form as well, which is in a cherry flavor. This one's not a flavored one. It's more like a medicinal type of thing. But guys, if you have cracked or chapped lips and you can't find anything to fix it, this is like the cure. Like literally, I think two days and chapped lips no more. I love this stuff. Um, and I've also got a chapstick form, um, but this one, was technically supposed to be for my husband so I'm not going to keep this one I'm actually going to give it to him so that he can use it because I've already got these two plus one more of this plus those guys so I'm going to give him this one because I think he'll like it in a chapstick form um yeah and I don't think this one has a flavor either but these things really work guys Blistex Lip Medics if you try it or if you tried it let me know what you think because I think these are a godsend those are all keeps um I have okay and also just before I continue sorry I'm so out of breath I don't know why I just don't have energy today and it's I had a really rough work week and it took a lot out of me mentally and emotionally and it's affecting me physically and I I don't know I just am lacking energy I took our dog for a walk for about 20 minutes and I could barely do that I just feel like I don't know if I'm coming down with something too, but I just got a whack load of things going on, I think. So I am a little bit out of breath and I do apologize for I sound really breathy today. It's just, I don't know. I just, you know, <laughs> I really have no other reason, but I just wanted to film this for you guys. So hopefully you still enjoy the video itself. But um, I've got this Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. <laughs> it's still full. I don't know why. I don't tend to use this. Or geared towards needing one but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my uh, bathroom vanity is it expired though let me just check um, okay it's good until February 27th of this year so I think um, I'm gonna put this on my bathroom vanity and I'm gonna make some effort to use it um, yeah, I need to use this guy up. What do you think? One month, can I do it? Maybe, maybe I can just scrub my lips every day. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, and then let's dump these guys out. Oh, and these containers I just get from the dollar store, from Dollarama. Um, but I don't like how they fit in the Ikea Alex drawers. So I am slowly kind of trying to find something else, but you know what, they make do. Oh. Remember I um, had that NYX sharpener that I decluttered last video? I think it was last video. Here's the cap from one side, so I'll throw that in the declutter pile and I'll make sure to pair it up with that. Um, this guy here is a Tarte... God, it's written so small. It's the Tarte Quench Lip Rescue, and the color is Nude. And... There's like the tiniest little nub left on there. Truth be told, this actually broke. Um, so it's not even that I actually was able to use it all up. Although I will say I did really enjoy this while it wasn't broken, but I find that it melts really easily and because of the melting, it breaks really, really fast. I won't purchase something like this. This was actually a sample size. Um, I think I got it as a deluxe sample from Sephora or something, but I really did enjoy this, but I won't purchase the full size because I find that it breaks too easily. Um, unless you guys have tried this and the bigger size doesn't, let me know. Maybe it's just because it's a mini and I honestly, I don't really like mini uh, lip products because I find they break 
quite easily. And I have another one actually that I'll talk about next that did the same thing. Um, this one. So I got this just before Christmas. Um, it came with, let's see, it came with this balm. It came with the agave lip mask and it came with, what is it? The bite. Oh, lip mask. I don't know. I don't know if all three things are the same, but um, this guy here. Um, I don't know if you can really tell by camera, but it's like wobbly a little bit and it's breaking. And I wasn't really pulling it out too much, but I'm going to keep trying this out. And if it really breaks, then oh well. But this I haven't even touched yet and this I haven't even touched yet. So I'm going to keep both of those. Um, this is the Smashbox Insta Matte um, Lipstick Transformer. It's supposed to make your bullet lipsticks more matte. I've actually, I don't even think I've ever used it maybe once to try. Mm, yeah, probably have used it once to try, but I don't really care for it, so that's going to go. Uh, continuing with bombs. Oh my god. I'm so out of breath. Seriously. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, okay. So there's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Lip Repair Lip Therapy Repair Dry Lips. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really care for this. It's kind of dirty and grimy and it's quite old. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Next is the Sugar Rose by Fresh. Um, oh, Sugar Rosé. I think this was another one that maybe broke, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wait, how does this open? Oh, you got to twist it a little bit. Oh, no, this one's not broken. But as you can see, there's still quite a bit of product on there. I think, again, this will be a really nice one uh, for spring and summertime. There, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this one, I think. Haven't, I think I've maybe used this one once or twice, but I'll keep it because I think I'll get used out of this in the summertime. Okay, let's see if we have any more. Okay, the Lana Lips Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Perfect Nude. I really like this. It's nice to have a little bit of a tinted lip balm. As you can see, I have a couple, but I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, this guy here is the Clarins Lip Balm oil. I don't like the color that this gives off on my lips, so I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I've only used this once anyways, um, but I didn't really enjoy it. Okay, so these ones, the Stila lip glosses. You know what? This one's quite old, and I've used quite a bit of it up. There's nothing really left in there. I mean, if you can tell, this is what a full tube looks like versus what my tube looks like. So this one's going to go in the trash. Um, these two have not been used at all. And you know what? I think I'm not going to use these. I'm going to give those away to somebody. These two I've used. This color is just too dark. I feel like I don't like dark gloss. I'm going to get rid of that one, but I'll keep this one, which is like a kind of peach sparkly shade. And I've probably only used this maybe once, <laughs> but I'll keep that one. Uh, my Fenty gloss balm or my what is that I don't know it's a shade gloss balm or something Fenty glow I don't know whatever this is called I love this stuff it's so good um, I'm definitely keeping this one my favorite gloss I've got this one by Bare Minerals it's their marvelous moxie in party starter it's a cute color but I don't typically wear coral colored lip glosses not really a fan so I'm gonna get rid of that um, this one's by Too Faced. It's their Glamour Gloss in the color Sex Pot. Um, I think I'm going to give this one... Did I give this one away? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to give that one away. This one is by Bite Beauty in the color Salted Caramel. I love this stuff. It's so good. Definitely keeping that. Um... This is by Burberry. It's a lip gloss in the color. Oh my god, I can't even see. Oh, okay, so it's called a lip glow and it's in the color Nutmeg. Um, I think I found this at like Winners for 20 bucks or something. So 
It's kind of nice having a little bit of a bougie product, but I will keep this one for now. Okay, so this is by uh, Pixie by Petra, and it's the Lip Lift Max in Honey Sheen. And I think this is supposed to like give your lips a bit of a plump. Um, I've only tried this once and I don't get that effect with it. I think I won this at like a bridal shower, so I'm going to give that one away. I don't think I've ever used this except for probably swatching it. This one's by Juice Beauty and it's in Fig. It's a really beautiful color, but I just don't see myself gravitating towards it. Um, I think I got this like in an Ipsy bag or something like that quite a while ago. Um, so I am going to put that in the declutter pile. And then I have this one by Natasha Denona in the color Flush. And this one was recent. It was just before Christmas that I got it because it was on sale. So um, the color is actually really light on me. So unless I mix it with something really darker, like very barely put it on, it's okay. But it's so opaque, guys. Um, but I'm going to keep that one as well. And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, my Pat McGrath lip gloss is missing. And I'm really sad about it. But when and if I find it, I'm keeping that one. Otherwise, next year in 2021, I might be buying a new one because it was so pretty. Um, yeah, so here's everything I'm decluttering for. Um, I mean, sorry, these are what I'm keeping out of my like lip balm, lip gloss type products. And this is what I'm decluttering. So, I mean, I guess it looks like more because I have these, but I think I did pretty decent. I still got about 50%-ish, maybe. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the next category. Okay, the next is a bit of a smallish category. This is all my lip pencils. Um, yeah, so let's dump those out. Okay, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, sharpener that I said I would keep just for my lip products, and then I had another one that I kept for my um, eye products. I feel like it was the next one I kept, didn't I? Maybe I'll have to snatch that lid thing back out of my declutter pile. But yeah, obviously keeping this. Um, I have this lip primer by NYX. I have no idea what it's called or what color it is. I think the color is nude. Um, but it's pretty old and worn. Let's see how much product's left. I've actually used the heck out of this. Like I've used a lot. It was probably double or more of what this is but I think I can get some use out of it if I put it somewhere I remember to use it um I don't know if it's anything special let me just see I'm trying to screw it all the way back down yeah actually I have used quite a bit more than half I would say um I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna try to finish it this year okay moving on next let's look at these chubby stick things um, this one by Bite Beauty in the color Pastille. It's like a really pretty, um, creamy mauve type color. This is actually what I was wearing on my lips in my intro clip earlier. So it is really pretty. It's really creamy. I think I'm going to keep that and give it a bit more of a chance. I don't actually tend to wear these chubby stick pencils, but I kind of do like that one. This is by Trustique. It's a mini matte lip crayon. The color is Florence Fig. Let's see. That's kind of an orangey nude color. I don't know. Let's see how much product there is. There's not a lot in there. Maybe I can keep this and try to use it up as well. I don't think this category is going to go super duper good, but we'll see. This one's by NARS in the color Cruella. I think this was in like a birthday set and I don't know if that's all there is of the pencil but I don't really use this so I'm gonna get oh I don't know what happened there the lid doesn't want to stay on weird um I'm gonna get rid of that one because I do have red lip liners that I can use um, I have this one, this is herbal, these two are similar products, so maybe we'll do these. But I've got the Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in Ozone, and the No Bleeding Lips um, Secret Lip Liner. These are both clear. 
I mean, honestly, I don't really know. This is broken. Yeah, that is broken. So this one's going to get trashed, I guess. That's unfortunate. That's a lot of product in there. Clearly, I bought this and did not use it. <laughs> um, so that's going, but I don't understand the purpose of... Well, I do understand the purpose of these, but I don't find that they work for me. So we're going to declutter that as well. Um, I have two lip pencils by Charlotte Tilbury. I have Pillow Talk and I have Walk of Shame. Um, I mean, Pillow Talk, I feel like everyone kind of knows it's like the perfect nudie pink color. I'm keeping that because I love that shade. Um, and then the Walk of Shame lip pencil is kind of like a muted red. Um, I am going to keep that one because I have the lipstick of both. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep those and I love Charlotte Tilbury so I won't get rid of any of those. Um, this one is by Milani in Spice. I've used quite a bit of this and I think I stopped using it because I had lost my sharpener at some point so I just kept buying new lip liners but I'm going to keep that because I think I can use this one up. And okay let's see I have a bunch by MAC. Just these three I think. Okay so I have um, MAC Bittersweet which is like a really um, dark deep brown. I really don't know when I would use this color. I'm going to get rid of that one, uh, but I think I might be keeping both of these. I have Staunchly Stylish, which is like more of a nude. Um, I think that one's like more mauve nude. And then this one, which is nice and spicy, is like more of a brown nude. Yeah. So I'll keep both of those. I have this NYX one in the color Nude Truffle. This looks like a lighter version of that MAC brown. Um, maybe I'll keep that one if I ever wear browns, but I don't feel like I need the super dark one. I'm not really into that. Um, I have this one by Urban Decay, which is in the color 1993. Um, and I also have the lipstick to go with this. It's more of a cool toned brown. It doesn't look so cool toned on here, actually. It looks more neutral, but. Uh, I'm gonna keep that because that's really super creamy and it stays on. I have these two by Prestige. I thought I had a third one unless I already decluttered it, but one's in a red. Um, is it called red? What is it called? True red. It's a very, very bright red. Um, still surprisingly creamy. Quite old though, but creamy. Um, I'm gonna give that one away, I think, and then I have this one in the color Fleur, which this one's super dried out, and you have to really press to get any color, but it's like a mauve color, and I think some of these ones down here are pretty similar to that, so I'll pass that one up. These ones, so I have a Rimmel, no, sorry, it's not Rimmel, this is Annabelle in a Big Show gel lip liner. The color is Nude Attitude. Oh, well that's not good. Um, it's just a really peachy nude color. Um, I mean, honestly, I guess I could just use Pillow Talk in place of this, especially since, is it broken? Look at that guy, it's, oh my God, I hate when that happens. Okay. That one's going. I can't stand keeping broken products. I'm so weird like that. Um, this one's another bright red, I think. This is Revlon color stay in red. Maybe I'll keep this one instead of that other one. Yeah. I mean, I don't tend to wear a lot of reds, but same color. I like that this one's retractable. I hope it doesn't break on me though. Um, this one is by Rimmel. It's the Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color Ravish. And this one's a bit more like angled. So it's a kind of darker, mauve rusty color. I'll keep that one because I don't... I mean, it's similar to... It's similar to Walk of Shame. It's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna keep it. Oops, sorry. And then I have the NYX retractable lip liner in the color Plum, and I think I had bought this for like a Halloween look one year. But it is a little bit more of a plummy color, and I think I'll keep it just because I don't have 
anything super dark like doesn't this one look like eyeliner i feel like that should be eyeliner <laughs> i mean i know there's girls out there that will wear super dark lips but i do too but i'm i don't know it's just brown's weird so here's what i'm keeping and here is what i'm getting rid of so not quite as much going out but i think still pretty decent um you know what actually this trustee one i'm gonna move it over here i think someone else can get some use out of that one i don't really need it because i have a ton of bullet lipsticks that i'm sure are in that color but yeah still looking a lot better than before i think i got a few things out of there so that's good Alrighty, so here are my bullet lipsticks and you can't even see all of them because there's a few just kind of thrown on top of here. Let's see, let's get those out. So I have this little container that I got from Marshalls, I think. It holds 6x4, so like 24 bullet lipsticks. Uh, obviously you can see I have quite a bit more than that. Um, and I know there's a few that I can get rid of, but I would like for all of my bullet lipsticks to fit in this little thing and I think it's going to be pretty easy to do because it's not like I have a ton of bullet lipsticks so um I think we should do pretty good because a lot of these are quite old and probably should leave my collection today <laughs> I'm gonna keep this here because I think I'll just stick all the ones that I'm keeping into um this and I'll organize them all later okay so two off the bat that I'll tell you I'm keeping are both my Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> lipsticks because I kept both my uh, lip liners. But basically I have the color Pillow Talk, which I've actually kind of used a lot. But if you can tell, I've caused some bad damage to it too there on the end. But this color, actually you know what, I'll do that swatches on this side but I might run out of room. So that's what... That's what pillow talk looks like it's just kind of a pinky color it's the same exact color as the lip liner this is walk of shame which if you can tell i haven't even swatched but i will swatch it for you just for the purpose of the video it's just what i said before a very muted red super pretty color okay so those two will keep um let's see what else I have this one by Bobbi Brown. Um, it's their Luxe Lip Color in the color Pink Sand. It's a very kind of peachy, nudie color. I'm going to set this to the side. It's a maybe right now. I'm not sure. Let's see um, if there's other nudes that I end up keeping. Um this one. Oh, this one's by Becca and it's Cupid's Kiss. I think it was a part of that collection with uh, Khloe Kardashian and her friend, is it Malika? I don't know. I don't watch the show, so I don't know. I've actually used this quite a bit last summer. Um, it's super pretty. It's like a kind of salted caramelly, mauve nude. Like, I don't know. It's kind of burnt almost. I really like that. <laughs> I feel like all my colors are kind of similar, but I will keep that one. What else? Okay, these ones I know I'm gonna get rid of where it's, I thought I had more. Okay, here are three. Sorry, I feel like my arm's so awkward. Um, this one's by Rimmel in the color Nude Delight 700. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I've already been through two other tubes of this when I used to wear super like nude colors. And this is the reason I decided to keep pink sand because I'm going to get rid of this one. But this one was a little bit of a like true nude, like more neutral. That one's kind of more pink, peachy. But this one's so old, it's got to go. And then this one is, it actually isn't that old, I think. Um, what's this brand? Oh my gosh. So it's the brand Marcel. Um, the color is 856 mauve avant-garde i don't really find myself reaching well, look at that it's not <laughs> barely even used <laughs> that's pretty sad let's see yeah i think it was a little more 
brown than I intended to purchase. It reminds me of that lip liner we just got rid of, so clearly I'm not into those type of colors. Um, and then we have another one by Marcel in the color Attitude. This one I used to use quite a bit. As you can see, it's I've used quite a bit of that one. It's got quite a sharp slant on there, but I don't know. Mm. It kind of looks like a more moisturized version of Pillow Talk, but it's got a little more brown to it. Mm. This is getting with the maybe pile too. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Okay, I've got these two by Milani. This one's in the color Nude Cream. And I was using this quite a bit when I first got it. Um, not so much anymore, but it's like Pillow Talk, but it's not as like brown. I'm not gonna keep this one, I'm gonna get rid of it. Same with this one, Cabaret Blend. Um, I find that these types of colors are really beautiful, but I prefer them in a liquid lipstick form, so uh, that one's gonna go. Mm -mm -mm. This one is by Fenty Beauty, and it looks like I've got some glue or something on there, and that's kind of gross. Okay, so this one's by Fenty Beauty in the color Matte Moselle. No, wait, is that the color? Or is that what the lipsticks are called? No, it's the Matte Moselle lipsticks, but the color is called Spanked. Um, it's like a movie color. Okay, this actually looks like Walk of Shame. Like, super similar to Walk of Shame. Um, I think that I can give this one to a friend who might enjoy it. I have someone in mind if she wants it. Um, so I'm going to declutter that one. I have these two by H&M. I think I kept a couple of their blushes last time, or one of their blushes, but I have this color in Red Haute. It's very dry though, it's like a um, super matte formula. I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't really like that. Okay, and then this one is in the color Lennox Lounge. It's a bit more of a kind of pinky red, but same thing. Super dry, and I don't like super dry stuff on my lips unless it's a matte liquid lipstick. This one is by the brand All May. It's called our hashtag Lip Vibes. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of the Sephora Lip Stories. Um, this color is in the color Go Wild, and I didn't think it was going to be this light, but it's so light. I'm going to swatch this next to that Rimmel um, Nude. That was this one. Uh, it's like pretty much the same. I don't know if you can tell. I can't twist my arms so much. It's a little bit deeper almost. Um, but I am going to get rid of that one too. That is fairly newer, but I'm sure there's someone that can enjoy it a little bit more. Um, this is, actually I have a couple Smashbox, we'll do Smashbox together. Oh, let's do my MAC ones, because I feel like those will be easy. Okay, so I have this one in Samantha Ravindal, it was her collab with MAC Cosmetics. It's a super, like, pink nude, um... I always have to mix this one with other colors, but because I don't have any other nudes and I do like MAC lipsticks, I think I'll just keep that one. Um, and then I have Whirl, which is one of my favorites. It's a matte formula. It's so funny how I said I don't like brown colors in here. I have a brown, um, but it is super pretty. And then I have a mini one in Velvet Teddy, which is just like kind of a mauve nude. Super pretty. Okay, let me just go clean off my arm because I've got a lot of swatches going on there and I'll be right back to go through the rest. Okay, so I don't think my arms are too stained so hopefully it doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm going to save my um, Smashbox ones for last because there's so many of them. Um, I have these two by Urban Decay. The full size one is in the color 1993. This is the one that I was saying came with that, um, with that lip liner. I do really like that color on camera. It's coming up a little bit deeper than it looks in person, uh, but it is definitely more cool toned. Oh, 
can't fit it in that way so upside down it is and then the mini is in the color back talk and I think I got this with like my Clarisonic <laughs> really weird but my Clarisonic came with a couple like sample size products by Urban Decay it was really weird um it's more of a mauve color kind of pink I think I'll pass this one up because I have other colors like that and don't really need it I have this one, it's a mini by Marc Jacobs in the color Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I feel like this was a birthday gift, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's more of a deeper pink. Not really my type of color unless it's in a matte liquid lipstick formula. Um, I have this mini by Makeup Forever and it's in the color N9 which is like a nude. Um, it's more of a like sheer-ish formula and it's kind of like a burnt orangey color. I don't really care for that so that's gonna go. I have one by Bare Minerals in Moxie or Bare Minerals Moxie Get Ready. It's kind of melted and broken. Um, the color is like a really pretty pinky coral. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know why my swatches are going all sideways. Also, my arm's like twisting while I'm doing this, so yeah. And this one is Makeup Forever in the color M102. So it's a matte formula. I've barely even used this. It's kind of dirty actually because it's got other colors. Let me just clean it off and then I'll swatch it on my arm. Okay, so this one I actually got with like my wedding makeup for my in-laws um so it does have more sentimental value to me um i will hold on to this one hopefully i'll make use of it but not typically my favorite type of color to wear um i have this one it's by bite beauty in the shade cashew oh this is more of like i guess a lip balm i don't know let me see hmm, it goes on like a lipstick oh it's a multi-stick anyways I'll probably just use that as a lipstick so I'll keep that we'll do minis in the first row and then I have this one in Beach Babe by Tarte it's their I don't know what it's called so it's too small for me to read actually super nude color but I have been using this one so I'll continue to use that this one's new it's by RMS Beauty in the color Temptation and I haven't even swatched it yet really the color it's like a super pretty like kind of purpley red I like that I'm gonna keep it also because it's new and I haven't really used it um, you know what going back I think I'm gonna keep both the Bobbi Brown and that Marcel one in the nude um, I have two full-size Smashbox and then three minis the two full-size are in the color Fig, which is kind of a purpley okay this looks like the RMS one right underneath so I'm gonna get rid of this and this one is in the color safe word I really like this color this is just a really pretty nude yeah so I'll keep that one I love my nude lipsticks and then I have three Smashbox ones left. And they're all mini size. This one's in the color Legendary. And it's the bright red. You can kind of sheer it out too if you wanted to. Not really my kind of red. And I like reds that are matte liquid lips. So I'm not going to keep that. This one's in the color Famous. It's a nude as well. It's lighter than Safe Word. Um, but it reminds me of the Samantha Ravindal one, so I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm already keeping Samantha Ravindal by MAC. And then this last one is in the color Primrose. This one I think I've only used maybe once. Where should I swatch right here? I'm like doing all types of backflips and stuff to do these swatches, I feel like. Um, it's pretty, but I think I'll get rid of it. And this is what we're left with, guys. I'm getting rid of that. I'm sad to get rid of the Fenty Beauty one, actually, but um, 
I have so many colors like that and I feel that I know someone that's gonna get good use out of this. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got left. Actually, you know what I wanna do? I just, while we're here, I think I like it better. Like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. So all the gold ones are on top. So I actually have a bunch of empty spaces. Not that I need to fill anything up. Uh, so we did pretty good in this category. I'm pretty happy about this. I'm not gonna fill this up, you guys, I promise. At least not until, um, what's next year? <laughs> not until 2021. So what, we kept 10, 14, 14 bullet lipsticks. I think it's pretty good. Unless I find some stashed away in other pockets of handbags and stuff, but looking pretty good so far. Okay guys, this is the last category and my battery is running out, so that's not good. I'm gonna try to go through this one really, really quickly just so that I can um, get the rest of this video done without it um, dying on me. Um, so basically these are all my liquid lipsticks. I've got my kind of darker shades and my lighter shades. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the nudes. Oh, I'll move that over there. Okay. Let's we'll start with these. I've got... Okay, these two by NYX. Um, they're both in the shade London, I believe. They look exactly the same, but I do use the crap out of this, so I'm going to keep both. Um, just because I think they're almost done. This is NARS Mini in the shade Bound. I don't really... Um, care for the mini size I find it really hard to apply so that one's gonna go Jouer in the color Noisette I don't know if you guys want swatches I hate swatching liquid lipsticks to be honest because I'm gonna have to go through a difficult time getting them off also my hands like half white now because I was using um, my cellar water that one's kind of a brown color and the London one that I kept before this by NYX was just a little bit of a lighter, warm nude. Yeah, but that's almost out, so I'm glad I have two of them. Um, this is by Tarte. I think the color is called Rose. Kind of a pinky color. Um, it's a lip paint, the Tarteiste lip paint. I think I might keep that. And then I have another one in the color I think this is in the color birthday suit, which this is the color I think. Mm, I'm gonna keep that one too. I actually quite like that. I don't think I get rid of much. Um, Too Faced Melted Matte in the color, what are you called? Sell Out. This one's my favorite, um, but this is the one I wear the most. It's kind of a darker nude. This one's by LA Splash in the color Latte Confession. Quite old, one of my first liquid lipsticks. Probably my first liquid lipstick, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. I should move these down this way and then put those ones there so you can see. Um, this one's by BH Cosmetics. This is new, actually. My friend that gave me those eyeshadows that I mentioned in my last video gave me this, um, but I did talk to her and she said that if I didn't want to keep them, that she would give it to her coworker. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them back to her. Um, she just kind of threw some stuff together that she wanted to get rid of um, and gave it to me. But yeah, this one's by Buxom called Dolly. I think I might get rid of it. Wow, that makes a loud noise. Yeah, this one's more of a like a glossy color. I think I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna put it with my lip glosses. I really like that. Makeup Forever in 103. Kind of a brownie nude color. I feel like I'll, I'm gonna end up keeping most of my nudes because I do like them. Um, this one by Kat Von D is my favorite. It's bow and arrow, it's almost done, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, but this one I haven't really used. I'm going to get rid of this. This is in the color Ludwig. I think I've only ever swatched that one. Um, 
Huda Beauty. I didn't think I'd like this, but I actually do quite like this. This is in the color Trendsetter. I got this like in a set of a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, that's a really pretty one too. It's like a deeper color. I wouldn't consider that a nude, obviously. Um, so I'll keep that. Um, this is Dose of Colors Stone. Probably one of my first liquid lipsticks. Not before the LA Colors one. That was definitely my first, but I do love this color. Um, so I'm going to keep that. This is a Makeup Forever in the color 105. I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I have that other full size one. Yeah, and this one's more of a cooler tone color. Um, this one's by Sephora in the color 23. I don't know what the name of the color is. I feel like it was tea something, tea party or I don't know. But it's like a deeper color. Um, I am going to get rid of that one. And then I have some by ABH. I've got this one in the color Naked, which I cannot wear on its own because it's far too light for me. Um, but it's a good shade to mix in with others to make other colors lighter. Um, this mini in the color Hudson. I thought I had another one, but maybe not. Um, I'll keep that one too. Oh my god, they're all looking the same to me. And that Huda one is taking forever to dry. Which I'm not sure why, because it usually dries down pretty quick. And then there's this one in the color Bittersweet. This looks like a bit darker, so I'm going to get rid of that one, actually. And then this one in the color... Sorry, it's so ugly at the bottom. It's got, like, glue and tissue on it. But this is in the color Ashton, and I love, love this color. So I'm going to keep that, but... Yeah, I have a lot of new liquid lipsticks. So that's what it's looking like now compared to before. And here's what I'm getting rid of. So not a huge difference, but still a lot better. Moving on to more colorful ones. Um, again, there's two of the BH ones that are not even open. I'm going to give them back to my friend so she can pass them off to her coworkers. I've got a bunch of these by NYX. Um, I'm going to get rid of these two colors because I don't think I'll ever wear these. The colors are called um, Prague and this one is Milan. Um, but I'm going to keep this one in the color Budapest. I really like this one. It's a really pretty muted, um, I don't know, like a muted purple. Is that how you would explain it? It's kind of mauve I guess. We'll keep that one. And I'm going to get rid of this. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Soft Lilac. Along with that, I'm going to get rid of this one by ABH called Craft. Oh, and this one, um, which is in the color Catnip. So those are three ABH ones gone. Um, this one in ABH is called Dazed. Sorry, I'm not swatching everything. I just I think I'm going to swatch to see what I want to keep. Um... Yeah, maybe I'll keep that color, just because I don't have, I guess, many dark ones now. Um, this one's a true red. This one's also a true red, and this one's also a true red. I'm going to compare them and see what I want to keep. Um, this is by Colourpop, and I love Sarahi, if that's how you say it, in the color Softy. This is my only liquid lipstick by Colourpop, so I'm going to keep this one. So the color is in Black Rose. I think this is my only color that's this deep. It's like a, yeah, it's like a literally like black rose. I'm going to keep this one just because I don't have any other colors like that. And this one is a color by True Fiction called Avant Garde. It's really pretty about this, I think, for a friend's wedding. I'm going to keep this one. I like it. It's more like the NYX formula, so it's not super um, drying. Lime Crime in the color Rustic. This one I'm going to get rid of. I'm not a huge, huge fan. It's pretty, but it's okay. And that leaves us with these three reds. The Stila one is very old. Um, I don't even know what this color is called. It doesn't say. Okay, let me see. 
I'll do it on this side. So there's a Stila one. Okay. And then we'll do the ABH one in the color Seraphine next to it. Ooh, I almost like that better because it's a little bit deeper. And then I have this one from Sephora in 01. Honestly, I bought this for like one purpose and it didn't really serve that purpose. And then, yeah, that one's a really bright one. So I'm going to keep the middle one, which is Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I'm going to get rid of the other two. Don't get me wrong, these are still really great, but I don't need three reds. So for my darks, not my, I guess they're not all dark, but I'm going to keep these ones. We're going to get rid of all of those, so I think I'm probably now keep all my um, liquid lipsticks in one container. That's pretty exciting. Um, and I'm going to find some good homes for these guys here. Minus the ones that I need to toss because they're kind of grimy, but I don't think there were that many of them. Maybe just that Stila one and the one that was my first liquid lipstick ever. Everything else should be about under two years old, which is kind of ridiculous. All right, and I think that was the last category for lips. Yeah, um, I don't really have a comparison <laughs> to show you of what I'm keeping versus what I'm getting rid of because I threw all of my declutter stuff into my declutter bag and it's all mixed up with other makeup. So what I can do quickly is show you a clip of everything that I'm keeping. Um, and maybe somehow I can crop a clip of what I had to start with um, from the beginning, um, just so you can compare. I don't really know how I'm going to show you, but we'll figure it out. Just give me one second. Alright guys, there is the final clip of everything that I'm keeping. I can't really fit it into the frame for some reason. Um, let me see if I can zoom out. There you are. Um, yeah, so I think the only category I really had trouble with was my nude liquid lipsticks because I tend to use those probably the most. Um, but I think I did pretty decent otherwise. I'm really proud of um, like my darker and my more like colorful liquid lipsticks. I think I did the best with those. Oh, and also my bullet ones, I did pretty good in that category. These two containers look a bit congested, but I think if I reorganize them properly, it'll be a little bit better. But yeah, this is everything I'm keeping. And if I can figure out how, I'll insert a clip right here uh, to compare how it looked before. The declutter. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I'm really, really sorry for the lack of energy in this video. I just wanted to put something out there, but I'm trying my best. So if you enjoyed the video, regardless of how crappy my energy is right now, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do go ahead and hit the like button below. If you've recently subscribed, thank you so, so, so much. I really do appreciate you being here and uh, wanting to watch more of my videos and if you are new to my videos then I would love for you to subscribe This is probably not the best video to ask people to subscribe to me from because I sound like absolute crap And I'm not even filming a proper outro which again I'm really sorry for but I just feel really 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 crappy right now um, And thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye